your timing for what you do, mm -hmm. uh, you know, directing, and it came along at the, at the time that hip hop was yeah. in its golden era. Golden. But you have a brotherhood. When I think of you, I can't help but think of hype. And X. And X. Like, yeah, man. Where did they, like, how did you so, even get in that circle? So it's and for anybody who does it, it might not be familiar. Yeah. Please explain. So let me just explain this. So uh, Hype Williams is, I would say, the architect of modern music videos, period. Not just hip hop, not just don't, we're not going to box him in and say he was a hip. No, the, Hype is the architect of the modern music video. He was the one that made the label say, oh, if I want this artist to be successful, I need to spend a million dollars. Regardless, and it started in hip hop because you and I know but prior to that, there was not a lot of money, not uh, relatively not a lot of money being spent um, on rock and roll music videos. Uh, you would get a few, I mean, Michael Jackson is a complete exception to the rule. But other than that, you know, an artist would come out, they would spend a decent amount of money. Hype made it so that hip hop artists were at above the level of, of rap artists, I mean, of uh, rock artists and country artists and pop artists. He wanted to make sure that the visual of hip hop music just was way bigger than anything else. And, and that went hand in hand with what Bad Boy was doing, what Death Row was doing at the time. Like those two labels with Pac and, and Snoop and all that and Big and it, and it all came at the same time, right? So I... um. I was doing a commercial. I don't know if you remember Chris Rock did these 1-800 collect commercials. I do. So we were, I was like a PA on the commercial and it happened to be um, being produced out of Big Dog's office. So I'd never met Hype before. And I remember going up there and we were like boxing up some stuff like walkie talkies or something for the shoot the next day. And he came in and I just introduced myself. I said, hey, how you doing? My name is Benny. Uh, I'm working on this commercial over here and, you know, man, I would love to, you know, get on your crew one day and work on the set. And he was like, okay. <laughs> and he walked away. <laughs> he said, okay. And walked away. Um, with, and I didn't take it no kind of way. Cause I was like, you know, I'm just introducing myself and I'm here the next week. Um, they had a, they had a job and it was R Kelly's Gotham city remix video. And they said, hey, um, we need some PAs to come on. It's going to be long hours. And I was the first one there. I said, I'm there. And that's kind of how that got started. And he saw, Hype saw me like really grinding. I would be in the office when we weren't shooting anything. And I would be a big dog. I'm like, you know, does anybody need anything? I was also interning at Def Jam at the time. So I was like, really like, go, like anybody needs something, I'm here, make a run or whatever, and it wasn't about money. It was about me trying to, you know, get ascend myself, you know, get get higher. And I think part of that though, went back to what we were saying, the pledging aspect helped me with that because you you understand what humility gets you and, and being humble and being able to be a servant, you know, being, being in service, I should say, mm -hmm. and being in service and what that gets you. Um, so then, you know, I was in lockstep with him in terms of, um, PAing and and then eventually becoming like a second AD for for under him and, a, and a, uh, Mike Ellis who was the uh, AD the first AD and then this kid man this kid would come from Toronto man he would have his hair his head wrapped in a towel we didn't know if he had dreads or not what <laughs> and he would just be sitting in the office just drawing and then all of a sudden him and Hype would be back in their own little corner and hype is telling him stuff and he's drawing it and we look at him like who is who is this kid you know and it's like when i say kid it's like i probably got x by maybe eight years or something like that and so he would come in and he wouldn't really talk to anybody he was like to himself and then one day he went away he went home to uh to toronto and he comes back and he shows us this music video with cardinal officio and the whole office was stuck. It was like, you directed this? And he said, yeah. We like, when? Like, how? He said, I went home and Cardinal and this and the thing. From there, I was like, 
this is the next guy. I want. I know I want to direct, but I, I'm not ready yet. I'm gonna. I'm whatever I got to do to to help him get it going. I'm gonna do again. I was in that that service mind, right? Like I, I knew that the timing wasn't right for me yet. Um. So eventually, we sort of. Um. I sort of branched away from hype and then became X's first AD, and that's really where that building happened. Hype was always with us, but it was me and X. So all those early jobs he did, I was right with him. Like, you know, the DMX, we, we, me and him were on the phone talking about, um, when X passed the, um, the what's my name video. And, uh, we just, we had <laughs> deep conversations about it and how incredible X was because we were both there for get at me dog. And we saw the emergence of X and we were also at big dog when he was doing belly. So we, we saw this happening. And so I reminded him of a couple of things about that video and he was like, yo, that was like my, my, I, when he told the world, I'm going to do it my way. And whoever's with me is with me. And if you're not with me, then, then that's it. And I told him, bro, I'm with you. Like, what are we going to do? You know, let's, 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 let's take over the world. You Batman, I'm Robin. And that's cool with me. And, you know, that was cool for me right there because I was also learning about the craft a little more, you know? I, I love I love where you're going with this because I try to use this platform to teach, um, to educate, mm-hmm. to inspire, to motivate. Mm-hmm. And I, I need to stop here for a second because sure. you are Benny Boone. People see you today. They know your accolades. If they don't know the face, they know your body of work. They mm-hmm. see you now. But... What people need to listen to, listen to what you said. Mm-hmm. You came in. Well, number one, you saw hype and you took it upon yourself. Let me capture this moment. I might not get this opportunity again. I not, right. Let me, hey, my name is Benny Boone. Mm-hmm. I would love to work with you one day. So that's number one. Number two, when you do start working with him, it's on the ground. You're a PA. At the yeah. same time, you said, I'm interning at Def Jam, mm-hmm. which I didn't even know. Yeah, I did. Yeah. But before you can get to your level, you have to start somewhere. Everybody wants to be a boss. Everybody wants to jump out the window and run the show from day one. But I love what you said. You, you want to be a director. Yeah. You obviously, you've gone on to be a director. Mm-hmm. But you saw talent in someone else mm-hmm. and you said, I'm not ready. Mm-hmm. Let me that. help this person mm-hmm. get to where they're trying to go. Mm-hmm. And I can learn more. I can get more experience. And when I'm prepared, I can get out there on my own. And I think that that is such great gems that you just dropped for anybody who is listening to this. Yeah. You got to go through the steps. You got to go through the steps. You got to go through the steps. And, and the interesting thing is we can look back now, it's been over 20 years, and we could see that hype was greatness and X was greatness, but we didn't know that at the time. You know what I mean? Like, it's easy to, it's easy to, to jump on board with something when it's, when it's already great. But to, to, to look at something and go... I'm doing it because I believe that it will be great. That's different. Cause it's as, as great as hype, as great as hype was at the time, like, you know, like I, I, at one point I was driving hype around. Right. And I remember we, he had a, um, in his, he had went in the, in the for a meeting and I'm in the car, in the truck and in the car, he had all these cassette tapes. Right. So I see in the tapes and I'm looking and every tape, and I might be telling too much, but every tape, and I, you already know this, he was getting paper just to listen to the music. Just to listen to the music, the labels were, were paying him. And so I looked at that, man. I'm like, yo, this is a black man from Queens telling these labels like, yo, y'all not just going to stick up, uh, stick us up and take from us without paying. Like, you got to pay. And it wasn't about the artist 
It was about the labels because he was going to do the video. If he was taking yep. the music, he was going to do the video because we know you, you and I know there was no, there's not a question. If he's, if he's having a conversation, he wants to do it. Um, but, yeah. but I learned from that. I, I learned from that, the business aspect of how you value yourself in the, in the business aspects. So, right. So you keep that in the back of your mind. And then the creative part is it's what has to happen is the creative and the business have to line up. And that's where the success, that's where really where the success comes from. And when you, when you have the creative or bad business sense, then you see kind of what happens. Or if you have great business sense and not the creative, you know, it's also a different direction as well. And I, and I just feel like, man, I feel blessed to have had that time with those two guys in particular because I learned so much from both of them, but completely different things, completely different things from both of them. And, and to this day, you know, I talk to X all the time. I talk to hype uh, every now and then I ran into him uh, in Atlanta and, you know, he's always, he, he's the same guy then he's not that talkative. He's very like, you know, thinking and keeping to himself. But um, you know, my thing is, it's funny because I always want to be like, yo, are you proud of what I'm doing? Like, that's what I got out of you know? uh-huh. <laughs> because, because it's like, you know, it's almost like your dad and you want to do all this stuff and you want to get that, you know, get him to say, man, I see what you're doing. Like, I'm, I'm proud of you. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.